Omni Hoverboards Montreal's Alexandre Duro first flew his electric multirotor hoverboard back in 2015 and quickly set a Guinness World Record for distance. The hoverboard's main frame is made out of one tube and at each end of the tube are four booms, for a total of eight booms. At the end of each boom holds a downward-facing electric motor and propeller. The pilot's feet are strapped in using snowboarding straps which are fixed at each end of the main tube. The landing gear are four fixed curved legs placed at the ends of the main aircraft tube. The batteries are secured under the main tube frame. From pictures alone, we estimate the Prototype 2 hoverboard to be in the area of 2.5 meters wide, about 8 feet wide. Copter Pack There's now a backpack helicopter and it could change the future of flying. The futuristic invention, known as a copter pack, recently completed its first flight on a beach in Australia, and it has made quite an impression. It runs on a helicopter motor and rotor that is strapped to a person's back. They can walk about on the ground wearing it and can also use it to fly at low altitudes. IT consists of two giant turbines attached to a backpack, which allows the person wearing it to take flight. As per CopterPack's site, the device is described as an electric backpack helicopter with a self-leveling autopilot. The lightweight airframe is constructed from carbon fiber honeycomb. Lift Aircraft Hexa The Lift Hexa, originally the Hexa, is an all-electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, single-passenger wingless multicopter ultralight aimed primarily at tourism and short-distance travel. The Hexa aircraft was designed by Robert Kovacs, who was based in Hungary, capable of landing on both land and water. The aircraft has 18 independently controlled propellers and 18 electric motors mounted on a motor strut assembly resembling a web of six inward pointing sectors with 12 outer and six inner electrically powered propellers. This allows the aircraft to be controlled by varying the individual motor speed for each propeller and allows the pilot to have excellent visibility. The aircraft is powered by multiple battery packs. Hoverbike Scorpion S3 Hoverbike Scorpion 3 is an extreme sports machine for those who are not afraid of height and speed. The layout of Scorpion 3 is like an ordinary motorcycle, but it can fly Scorpion is a single passenger, altitude limited quadcopter hoverbike which started as a crowdfunding project. The Scorpion has a maximum speed of 69 kilometers per hour, 43 miles per hour, a maximum altitude of 4.6 meters, 15 feet, and has a range of 21 kilometers, 13 miles. The flight time between 15 to 40 minutes depending upon the payload. If you have a very heavy passenger, the flight time could be a maximum of 15 minutes and if you only had a lightweight camera system on the hoverbike, the flight time could 40 minutes. The hoverbike uses LiDAR and the pilot can set any altitude they want and the hoverbike will hold at that altitude. Zapata Flyboard Air Zapata, a former jet ski champion and French inventor, has accomplished what many of us just dream of flying. The feat was achieved thanks to his own invention, the Flyboard Air, a type of jetpack that is powered by gas turbines marketed under Zapata's own company, Zapata Racing. The Flyboard Air, in particular, can fly up to an altitude of 3,000 meters, 9,800 feet, has a top speed of 150 kilometers per hour, 93 miles per hour, 10 minutes endurance, and a load capacity of 102 kilograms, 225 pounds. It's said to be the safest, easiest, lightest, most maneuverable personal aviation system ever created.
Kitty Hawk Hemiside. Hemiside is Kitty Hawk's third developed aircraft, joining the Flyer, a recreational vertical takeoff and landing rotorcraft with a single seat configuration, and the Cora, Kitty Hawk's two passenger autonomous aircraft designed to fit the requirements of aerial mobility applications. Heaviside, named after renowned physicist and electrical engineer Oliver Heaviside, is a small EVTOL aircraft designed to quickly take off and land from nearly any location, but at a noise level acceptable for urban and densely populated environments. According to Kitty Hawk, the Heaviside vehicle is roughly 100 times quieter than a regular helicopter. Once in the air, the vehicle blends into the background noise of a city or suburb, barely discernible to the human ear. A Lauda Airspeeder 3 Malawian Quaches a Lauda's Airspeeder MK3 represents a huge technical advancement in the development of the world's first racing series for electric flying cars. This remotely piloted vehicle is the final iteration of an electric flying racing car before the introduction of the manned racing craft, the Airspeeder MK4. The MK3 will be operated by an expert remote operator from the ground and features a suite of technologies and engineering elements never before seen on an EVTOL craft. These innovations will be validated in this first unmanned phase and include LiDAR and radar collision avoidance systems that create a virtual force field around the craft to ensure close but ultimately safe racing. The MK3 features a carbon fiber frame and fuselage chosen for its strength stiffness and lightweight properties which ensures maneuverability performance and efficiency opener black fly the opener black fly is an american electric powered vtol personal air vehicle designed by canadian engineer marcus lung the aircraft is made from carbon fiber reinforced epoxy with all electric battery powered propulsion it has two 13.6 feet, 4.15 meters, cantilevered tandem wings on the front and rear of a short fuselage. The fuselage has a single seat cockpit under a bubble canopy. The forward wing is low and the rear wing high, giving the cockpit good forward visibility. Each wing has four tractor configuration contra-rotating propellers powered by electric motors. The tractor configuration prevents the flexible propellers from contacting the airframe. Each wingtip has winglets to improve lateral stability and reduce vortex drag. The aircraft weighs 313 pounds, 142 kilograms, empty and can carry a pilot and baggage totaling 250 pounds. It can accommodate a pilot of up to 6.5 feet, 1.98 meters in height. Jetson 1 Jetson was founded by Peter Turnstrom and Tomas Patton in October 2017 originally as Jetson Aero with its headquarters Poland. The Jetson is a Formula One racing car for the sky. A beautiful and lightweight design in aluminum and carbon fiber that is incredibly fun to fly. It has eight powerful motors, driving an equal amount of propellers. The propulsion system has a massive power output, making flight effortless and fun. Unique flight computer makes flying extremely easy. Your left hand controls altitude, while the right controls direction. An intuitive system that makes everyone a pilot in less than 5 minutes. The Jetson 1 has a race car inspired safety cell that protects the pilot, can sustain continuous flight with the loss of one motor, has an auto land function, and multiple safety features to protect the pilot in case of an emergency. Jetpack JB10 the first pack design was developed in 1919 by the Russian inventor Alexander Andreev. The project was well regarded by Nikolai Reinen and technology historians U. V. Biryakov and S. V. Galatiak. 
In the most general terms, a jetpack is a wearable device which allows the user to fly by providing thrust. With the exception of use in a microgravity environment, this thrust must be upward so as to overcome the force of gravity and must be enough to overcome the weight of the user, the jetpack itself and its fuel. This necessarily requires the jetpack to continually push mass in a downwards direction while some designs have power and or mass supplied from an external, ground-based source, untethered flight requires all of a flight's fuel to be carried within the pack. This results in problems relating to the overall mass ratio, which limits the maximum flight time to a few minutes, rather than the sustained flight envisaged in science fiction. Gravity Jet Suit Gravity Industries designs, builds, and flies jet suits. The company was founded in April 2017 by Richard Browning. The suit is powered by five gas turbine jet engines that generate about 1,000 horsepower, according to the company. It weighs about 75 pounds with fuel in it. The suit can run on jet fuel, diesel, or kerosene. Users can direct the jetpack by moving their arms as if they are leaning on a table. It has a top speed of 80 miles per hour and is technically capable of reaching an altitude of 12,000 feet. The company, however, noted that the jetpack has been tested at lower heights for safety purposes. The company has designed an electric version of the jet suit, which it demonstrated for Amazon founder Jeff Bezos in March. The batteries needed to power it are too heavy and make that version difficult to fly, Browning said. Jetman, Jetwing Around since 2015, Jetman Dubai's Jetwing personal aircraft has been an awe-inspiring project that's given us hope we might one day live out our dreams of flying through the sky like Iron Man. However, up until now, they've only launched from elevated platforms or aircraft. Now, they've hit a new milestone with a record-setting flight for reference. The carbon fiber quad turbine jet wing has some pretty impressive stats, including a 31-mile range in just 15 minutes, a top speed of over 250 miles per hour, the ability to fly at altitudes of over 20,000 feet, and a pair of onboard action cameras, including a 360-degree one. But what's really special about its newest achievement is that it took off from a standstill on the ground and launched to over 3,000 feet in just 30 seconds, a feat never before accomplished by any other jetpack. <laughs>